thank you so much uh, for speaking to us this evening. Given what people experienced uh, in February this year in Cape Town and the conditions observed aboard that vessel, um, no doubt to an, there's, there's you know, an obvious reason why people are worried this time around. Um, your uh, members and officials have been to the feedlot, I believe, where the animals uh, waiting to be transported are being kept. Uh, what are the conditions there? Good evening and thank you so much for having us. It is indeed uh, correct that our teams have been at the feedlot in Berlin, in the Eastern Cape, since last week. Um, as you've mentioned, the shipment earlier this year that docked in the Cape Town Harbour caused quite a stir. And uh, many people were surprised to hear that that is not and was not the first uh, export vessel of live animals docking at South African shores, but that South Africa actually exports uh, live animals to particularly the Middle East by sea, uh, such as this uh, vessel that would be leaving South Africa for Kuwait and uh, Saudi Arabia. Um, the conditions at the feedlot with such a magnitude of animals is always worrisome. Um, we, the NSPCA, remain steadfast that where there are animals and profits involved, there will be cruelty. Uh, unfortunately, during the last week, we have encountered uh, instances of injured animals due to hasty um, procedures taken on by the shearers in shearing the sheep. Uh, purely due to the exporter's self-imposed timeline, which they are not able to stick to, which now results in a radical speed at which they are trying to shear the sheep and then causing injury to the animals through necking and cutting the skins. These injured animals are then expected without treatment to endure a three-week long journey at sea with some other animals with severe injuries being quite badly stitched up or at least attempted to be stitched up by lay people, the shearers, without any sedation or even a local anesthetic. 